in HD. This is 13 Eyewitness News Tonight. I never thought I would have to go in a room and pray for my brother's life within hours of getting married. Well, it was supposed to be the happiest day of her life, but it's going to be remembered for much more than that. Tonight, we're hearing an exclusive perspective of a melee at a wedding reception in Galveston last year. Thirteen people, including Astros pitcher Brandon Backey, were arrested. All but one of the charges had been dropped. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Gina Gaston. You'll remember the dispute which was captured on camera. We told you last week a Galveston County grand jury threw out nearly all of the charges. Well, tonight, the perspective of what happened from the bride and her family. I'm going to choose reporter Christine Dobbin standing by live in Dickinson. Christine? David was the first social event on Galveston Island after Hurricane Ike, a wedding that ended in chaos. Friends and family say they were beaten and then arrested. And tonight they share with us how the nightmare unfolded. It was a picture perfect Galveston wedding last October. That's where he's from, that's where he was raised, it's where we had many good memories, that's where we felt safe. Amanda O'Bally and Nick Lankford tied the knot. As the reception at the convention center ended, the wedding party and guests moved next door to their hotel, the San Luis. The bride's brother, Cole O'Bally, was followed by a security guard who claimed he had an open container and called police. I more or less was trying to defuse the situation, and just out of nowhere, uh, 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 mayhem started. Joe Bellamini and his wife Shannon were nearby Cole and say he was complying. The security guard was grabbing my husband around the throat and the officer that had the baton in his hand started beating Cole with it and then it just seemed like there was just more and more and more officers. Shannon tried to stop the beating by protecting Cole's head with her body. That's when they grabbed a hold of me and threw me backwards and and basically encased me with mace. I, it felt like acid being poured over my face and my eyes and my chest. The bride and groom saw more police arrive from their balcony. We thought there must have been someone with a gun there. There must have been a bomb threat called in. Something horrible was taking place. And quickly learned what was happening below. Such a high to a low so fast. And I would have never thought I would have to go in a room and pray for my brother's life within hours of getting married. So, and then we find out my father had been beaten also. We find out that people that meant so much to us had been hurt. More than a dozen friends and relatives were arrested, including a childhood friend of the groom, Astros player Brandon Backey. Gil O'Bally says he was pulled in for walking up and simply asking what happened. After they tased me, they handcuffed me, and I hear Aaron screaming. In March, 13 officers received reprimands or suspensions, but for paperwork errors, not excessive force. Split his skull open, bleeding on the brain, and is paperwork violation. But for this family, it was a night that changed many lives. We can never end with our wedding was an amazing wedding. It always is going to have something that tags along with it. The night that my brother almost lost his life. Now, 19-year-old Cole O'Bally was not able to talk with us tonight. He's away at college taking summer courses, making up classwork that he missed due to his recovery. That recovery is ongoing. His family tells us he still has frequent dizzy spells as a result of his injuries. Reporting live from Dickinson, Christine Dobbin, 13 Eyewitness News. Again, the only charge that remains is one count of resisting arrest filed against the bride's brother. Houston Astros pitcher Brandon Backey, a Galveston native, will not face charges.